Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Clown Town. I'm Gus. I'm Val. Thanks so much for being here. We really appreciate you. If you'd like to leave a comment, a subscription, a like, that would be absolutely amazing. So today, we are talking about an absolute shit show. Trigger warnings include ableism, autistic slurs, anti-blackness, anti-Asian sentiment, interphobia, lynching, racism, mentions of Nazis, and Hitler. Long story short, we're going to be talking about Keffels and her history of bigotry. Before we get into that, we have some context that we believe is necessary to help understand everything that's going on. Roll the archival footage! The queer community, despite its beautiful diversity, has a racism problem. Despite the incredible efforts of people of color, specifically black trans women, to advance our rights, white queer activists and their needs are consistently centered within LGBTQ spaces. These conversations about racism within the community are often swept under the rug in the name of unity, which further gaslights the realities of queer, black, indigenous people of color. We can't allow this to continue, especially when it's been reported that half of all queer, black, Asian, and minority ethnic people have experienced racial discrimination within local LGBTQ plus spaces. With all of that, let's talk about Keffels. Keffels is a white trans Twitch streamer that apparently has a lot to say. She takes to Twitter with all of her opinions. Recently, she spearheaded a campaign to get rid of an alt-right hate website called Kiwi Farms, which is really good, really great work. We're really glad that her efforts were a part of taking down the site. What isn't incredible is that she and her community use this as a shield for accountability for any of her racist actions. Not okay at all. Most of Keffel's racist actions can be described as microaggressions, which are everyday verbal, nonverbal, and environmental slights, snubs, or insults, whether intentional or not, which communicate hostile, derogatory, or negative messages to targeted persons based solely on their marginalized group membership. Usually these microaggressions are not as overt as, say, somebody throwing around racial slurs, but the message of a microaggression and these racial slurs, the message is the same, that the other person does not belong, that the other person is inferior, and that the other person is less than human in some way because of their marginalization. If we want to get rid of systems of oppression, it is very important to look at these microaggressions because those are probably going to be the last things to go. We feel it's important to talk about it and to point them out. Check yourself. Check yourself. Now we're actually going to get into what Keffels did. Basically, in 2021, the progress flag was updated. Now, the progress flag initially was all of the rainbow stripes, the black and brown stripe, and the trans stripe. But in 2021, it was updated by an intersex activist to include the intersex flag. Of course, Kerfoodle had a lot to say about this. So let's hear what Kerfuffle has to say. The image that Keffels posted is an image of this new pride flag, which has the intersex stripes, the trans stripes, the black and brown stripes, as well as the rainbow stripes. However, it is edited to have a green stripe, a white stripe, and a red stripe. And this is what Keffel said. This flag wasn't inclusive at all, so I had my friend redesign it so myself and other members of the Italian community are represented with an Irish flag next to it. Okay. This sounds like, um, I want to have straight pride. Us Italians should be represented too. Like, if you're gay Italian, cool, you're already on the flag. Congratulations. <laughs> and the reason that the black and the brown stripes are included is because they are the most marginalized in our community. And they deserve to have those stripes to show solidarity. It's not about shoving everything on one flag. It's about being intentional. With this little joke here, this little hee hee, she's saying we're just mishmashing everything onto one flag. Okay, so Keffels has more to say about this progressive pride flag that includes the intersex pride flag. I hate that this design implies that the original flag is not inclusive of trans people, black people, and brown people. The original 
national flag was designed by a friend of the first openly elected gay politician in the United States, and I see it as an important part of our history. Do not explain queer history to me, Keffels. Do not talk down on me or any of the people that you're speaking to. Second of all, no one is diminishing the meaning of the flag that came before this new flag. No one is saying that people don't see themselves in it. No one is saying that it is not valid. We are just saying that we needed more representation. So we got more representation. If you felt represented by that flag, congratulations, but obviously not everyone did. So it's not about you, Keffels. Not everything is about you. I feel like you need to hear that. Hashtag white women, not everything's about you. We really need to just sit down and listen sometimes. We do not need to add our two cents to everything. This was very unnecessary. Even if everybody felt included by the old one, this new flag is a symbol and a statement saying we are going going to work to make the intersex community feel more included. We are going to put that at the forefront of our problems, which is not something that the queer community is doing. We brush aside the intersex issue. We brush aside issues of racism, being trans, and I think that's the point of the flag. It's not because the old one wasn't inclusive. It's more of a statement of, we are standing with you in solidarity. We care. So why is that such a problem? that literally that this was a few days later after the original tweet so clearly kevils has had this flag on her mind she hates it so much it's giving her hemorrhoids and now she says no one asked for this an intersex activist created the flag, so clearly at least one person did. And that's what a Twitter user ended up saying to Keffels. This was actually made by an intersex activist. But Kay, go off. To which Keffels replies, Okay, I'm gonna go off. It's an ugly Frankenstein flag, and we should use individual flags to represent our own communities instead of whatever this is. Frankenstein flag? What Keffels is saying with this is you stay over there in the corner with your issues and deal with it yourself. The solidarity is unnecessary. It's becoming too much. That's your response to finding out that people from the intersex community wanted this, saying it's ugly and it's Frankenstein? Disgusting. Ugly. People had been discussing this, discussing other issues with Keffels, and this person had this to say about it. I wanted to find out why people said Keffels was racist. This was all I could find when asking for proof, and I'm gonna vomit. I'm begging, no, pleading with white leftists not to listen to the Diesler person in the room just because they're the darkest. Bitch. Unlike Keffels, I can't decide if something is racist or not because I'm white, but this is stinky. I don't like it. That last comment. Are you just calling all of the people that are commenting on this issue? Like, you're just calling them silly? You're insulting their intelligence? That's weird. That is very weird. Oh, and then Keffel's responds to this. My favorite part of this is people not realizing the second post was a shit post. I thought using the Irish flag would make that obvious. The post that Keffels is referring to is a screenshot of that original post that we were talking about with the Italian flag. Keffels is saying it was a joke, which people love to do when they get called out for their bullshit and they're just like, oh guys, it was a little joke. Oh, but oh. It was a, you don't get to say anything, it was a joke. Then why did you call it an ugly Frankenstein flag that nobody asked for? Didn't sound like you were joking then. Also, if you are joking, use a goddamn tone indicator. And none of this will happen. Especially because she said that a lot of the time, her followers can't even tell when she's joking. So tone indicators would actually be very helpful for her community. Mm-hmm. All right, now we're gonna go into Noodle Gate. <laughs> so, essentially... A white woman, I don't know who, wrote a cookbook about all Asian foods. We're going to call her Pippi Longstocking. So Pippi Longstocking <laughs> wrote a book about Asian cuisine, okay? And it was very appropriative. An Asian American person decided to comment on this, and they commented multiple times, posting things, exact things from the cookbook that made them uncomfortable. But they made a more general tweet saying, why did a white woman write a cookbook about dumb dumplings and noodles. And of course, Keffels decides to respond to the vague one that doesn't have any information why it's uncomfortable to them. She decides to respond because dumplings and noodles are tasty. The point. 
really. Also, of course, you're only going to respond on the one that's super vague so that your followers aren't going to see the reasons why it actually makes this person uncomfortable so that they can just be like, oh, they're just spewing bullshit. Oh, but pierogi's a dumpling. Pasta's a noodle. Yeah, it is. And if she was writing about those things in her cookbook, then we would not be talking about this. Her cookbook is all about Asian cooking that she does not have firsthand experience with. She writes about it as if she is a tourist and an exotic exotic land and described their their weird foods she off she also dismissed the work of known food authors in that genre pippi longstocking really did a lot of bullshit yeah she was not just writing about dumplings and noodles and being innocent so that asian american woman ends up posting a picture of that tweet the one that we read to you guys about a year later she saw that other people were talking about their experiences with keffels and her racism and she wanted to post it in solidarity basically saying this has happened to me too. One thing to note is that this person did not tag Keffels in any way, shape, or form. The point was not for Keffels to interact with this tweet. It's a screenshot of what we just talked about. The Asian American woman comments, quite interesting indeed, but quite is spelled Q-W-H-I-T-E, which I just think is so witty. Keffels fucking finds it and responds, I don't understand the issue. But she actually, quote, retweets the original post. Twice in a row, her followers are sent to this Asian American woman and start ridiculing her. This Asian American woman has less than 14,000 followers. Amazing. I'm not discrediting that, but just just as a comparison, Keffels has almost 150,000 followers now. So you're really just gonna go quote retweeting a smaller content creator's stuff just to get your followers to shit on them? That's very irresponsible. That's an irresponsible use of a community. All of this is really bad, but this is one of the things that made smoke start coming out of my ears. Flames on the side of my face. She makes a whole thread about Noodlegate because she's upset. She doesn't get it. She doesn't get why she's being attacked. She just doesn't get it. And she ends this whole thread by tagging the Asian American woman, Rosalind, saying to her, if you want, you can come on my stream today and explain to me why it's wrong for a white woman to make a cookbook about noodles and dumplings. I'll be around. My DMs are open. I hope you have a wonderful day. Are you sure your DMs are open? Because you have have us blocked. You have half of Twitter blocked. Telling someone to come to your Twitch stream, where you probably have thousands of viewers that support you, telling them, hey, fight me. Do you really think that's gonna go well for them when everyone in this community is literally like, obsessed with you? And they're all harassing this other person? They've already done it, so why would she feel safe enough to go on your stream and have this conversation? Why are you expecting an Asian woman to do this labor for you? She does not need to explain cultural appropriation to you. You can look it up. She listed some articles that actually explained very well why the book was a problem. It's not just the fact that she's writing about noodles and dumplings. It's the fact that she's talking about Asian food in a very appropriative way. If Keffels had actually read any of the things that this Asian American woman had put out, then yeah, maybe Keffels would understand. But no, Keffels just wants to have an argument online, which she's notorious for doing on her stream, having debates and arguments on her stream. She just wants to have an argument that she knows the other person can't win because she's in a position of power when doing so. So yeah, here you say explain to me, but we all know damn well that means you're gonna have to debate me. The optics of an Asian American woman having to debate cultural appropriation with a white lady? It just does not sit right with me. Just do the research Keffels. These next few tweets are going to be referring to somebody named Jai. Jai, from my knowledge, is a black trans woman. Don't really know much about her. We just saw Keffels say some nasty things about about her and we want to talk about it because unless that person is a literal Nazi, you should not be saying this about them. Keffels had a GoFundMe for her legal fund, which completely understandable. After she met the GoFundMe goal, she kept raising the goal. She kept raising it and raising it after it had already been hit. Jai is a black trans woman and probably has to see her and her friends and the people around her in her network probably sees their crowd funds not get that much traction. So seeing her continue continuing to raise her goal when she'd already met it was frustrating. Because there's probably so many other people 
that need this for like housing or just think or food or things like that making sure they have a roof over their head not saying that it was bad of Keffels to start something for a legal fund that's fine but to keep raising the goal and raising the goal and raising the goal and raising the goal just because you know you're gonna make the money is shady to me there was a screenshot from a private Discord conversation between Keffels and another individual that confirms that Keffels didn't need $100,000 worth of GoFundMe funds because she basically says, I don't know how much money you think I make, but I was going to make six figures this year before the GoFundMe happened. Most trans people that are crowdfunding are not asking for $10,000 and they usually don't make it. I'm not saying she didn't need a legal fund still, but the fact that she was already a six-figure earner, she did not need a hundred thousand dollars. But Keffel saw Jai react like this, and this is what she said. If this is how trans people respond to their own getting terrorized by the police because they were impersonated and swatted by Nazis, we are fucked. People like Jai need to be excised like a tumor from the trans community. You're calling for a black trans woman to be excised from the trans community simply because she had something to say about you. Oh, but you're okay with talking to literal fascists and racists and having conversations with them. Oh, you're totally open to that. But no, this black trans woman needs to be excised from the community like a tumor. And the reason why Gus says you're comfortable talking to fascists is because Keffels has said, I will open my doors to the ex-Kiwi farm people. They will be welcome. So why are they welcome? Why are the people who were harassing you and doing all of these terrible, why are they welcome? But Jai has to be excised for asking a question. If you really feel that comfortable talking like that to black women, especially black trans women, but black women in general, stay the fuck away from me. Not only stay away from me, but stay away from black trans women and stop talking to them. If you cannot go one day on Twitter without shitting on a black trans woman, delete Twitter and journal. Shout out to Aaron Bees for that phrase. If it makes you that mad journal about it, honey, I'm sure you'll figure it out somehow. So this next tweet is a response to Jai directly, aka letting all of her followers know this person exists that doesn't like me. Go ahead. I've already seen your Kiwi Farms account and know you are active on the site and use it to harass trans people into locking and deactivating their accounts. No one should trust you. Everyone should actively avoid you because you are a terrible human being. There's no receipts. Show us. There shouldn't be any reason why you couldn't show us. Oh wait, maybe it's not real. Maybe it's a fucking unsubstantiated claim. Until you show me, I will not believe you. To this day, there is no proof that Jai has a Kiwi Farms account. So this next part, what happened was a mutual of ours, a typical queer, Ace, shout out to Ace, really cool person, please go follow, amazing content. Ace was mutuals with Keffels for a while, ended up posting a few tweets, like a thread, saying I was mutuals with Keffels, but I broke the mutual. It's come to my attention that she's done some behavior that's racist. It's not cool. Do better. And then this is how Keffels replies to this thread. I'll always do my best to support the black community. And I recognize that black trans people especially are some of the most marginalized members of our community. I don't think I've always done my best, but I can own it. I'm always trying to learn from my mistakes and do better. Sounds like a good sentiment, right? Now Jai responds to what Keffel said. I mean, you could start by apologizing to me for the lies you told, right? That's a place to start. Keffel's response straight up, no. no. Not, I didn't lie about you. My claims are substantial. Just no. no. I will not apologize to you for telling lies. That does not sound like doing your best to support the black community. That does not sound like learning from your mistakes and doing better. That doesn't sound like owning it. So this next tweet is a response to basically someone calling out Keffels for being racist. Keep in mind what Keffels said in the last tweets, okay? I have not always done my best. I will do better. I am not racist and have never engaged in racist behavior. I think that during this time of heightened aggression towards the transgender community, asking people to disown each other shows your lack of solidarity and willingness to build a strong community. Do better. Stop fucking lying. Okay. 
okay, miss, we need to excise Jai like a tumor from the trans community. You know what shows a lack of solidarity? Racism. You know who needs to do better? You. You do. Say that to yourself, bitch. You. Also, why do you get to say that you've never done anything racist? You're fucking white. You can't say you've never done anything racist. You can say, I hope I've never done anything racist. We are not the ones that are constantly living under the systems of oppression that involve racism. We, I mean, we are, but we are not the ones that are primarily impacted by it. So we do not get to decide that. Literally, Donald Trump could have tweeted that first sentence and I would have believed it. I am not racist and have never engaged in racist behavior. I quote retweeted it and said, you don't get to decide what's racist. Do better. We got blocked. We don't even have 500 followers, you guys. And we got blocked by someone with over 100,000 followers. You really that scared of us? <laughs> She's scared of any criticism. If everything that's happening with you is okay, if you're doing things right, then you can stand up to scrutiny. So this was actually posted today. If you have ever wondered why Keffel's racist comes up in the search results, it's the result of Jai and her friends boosting false accusations and harassing me for months. Before she bullied my friend off of Twitter, she revealed Jai's alt where she pretends to be my grooming victim. False accusations. Keffels, these have been your tweets. Straight from the horse's mouth, love. You said it. Also, why are you only going after Jai? There was that Asian American woman that was speaking out against you. What happened to her? Are you, it's all Jai's fault now? You're just picking one person to target and one person to blame so that your community can go after them and to make them shut up. And that is disgusting. That's the kind of stuff that leads to violence, especially because black trans women are the most at risk of violence out of any marginalized group. Now, because of her blaming Jai consistently, people have been calling Jai a Nazi, a racist, a transphobe. People have been saying that she was behind the swatting of Keffels, and none of these claims are substantiated. This this thing where she's saying she revealed Jai's alt where she pretends to be my grooming victim, how is that proof? Somebody posted a list. We don't know if they're Jai's accounts. How are we supposed to know? There's no actual receipts. She's only going to mention the Keffels racist accusations, and she's not gonna talk about any of her ableism against the autistic community, which is what we are going to talk about right now. So she actually hadn't discussed this when we recorded the video, but by the time we started editing, she did address this. So we'll talk about what she said in a little bit. All I will say is that this is what she posted about 24 hours after she first addressed these tweets. Shout out to all the autistic people who follow me for backing me up until this S word discourse died. I'm sorry you all get infantilized and treated like you have no agency. The people attacking me over being being ableist are far more ableist than I have ever been. You haven't exactly seen the tweet yet. Just know that this is willfully misconstruing the issue and that there are autistic people who did have a problem with this. And what I find interesting is that she, someone who is not a member of the autistic community, as far as we know, why does she get to decide that this is done? Not even 24 hours later, she said the discourse is dead. Why does she get to decide that? Very strange. So this is in someone's private messages with Keffels. It was shown that this was Keffels. Her partnered Twitch is linked to this Discord account. I don't get the point of any of this. Why are you acting like an R slur? To which the person responds, sounds ableist. To which Keffels responds, it is. I am being ableist against you. So Keffels knows exactly what she's doing and she's doing it anyway. She does not care. Yeah, I'm being ableist against you. What the fuck? are you gonna do about it? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make a fucking YouTube video about it, bitch. Because there were a lot of other people who were working to take out Kiwi Farms and none of them are getting the same attention. None of them are going on the H3 podcast with Ethan Klein. None of them are getting the $100,000 in GoFundMe. None of them are getting all these news interviews and articles being posted about her. It's all about Keffels. Of course, it's all about the white woman. We're not saying that taking down Kiwi Farms was not a good thing. We just really wish that we could highlight this work with somebody that's not racist because those people are out there and they're not getting the same kinds of traction on their activism because they're not being taken as seriously because of racism. Uh-huh. This one makes me mad. I don't 
don't care if you like me or not. I live next to the train tracks. All I need to get pussy is to tell an autistic girl she can watch the trains go by at my place every few hours. I'm better than you. A year later, Keffel's responds to the tweet saying, this is still a banger. So being ableist is a banger. Saying that you're using autistic girls is a banger. Autistic people are more likely to be sexually assaulted than other groups of people. This is extra disgusting. She's joking about sexually coercing an autistic girl by telling her that she's gonna do one thing and then doing another. I don't get how that's a silly, funny little teehee. I really don't. I don't know why this has 4,755 likes. What the fuck? 235 retweets? That many retweets? You guys fucking suck. And you guys need to check yourselves. You watch the train pass your house with an autistic girl. I ran a train on an autistic girl. We are not the same. I looked it up because I'd never heard this phrase. And when I found it, to run train or run a train refers to when multiple men have sex with a woman right after the other with or without consent. Especially because she's not autistic. Fucked the fuck up. Now we're actually gonna talk about what Keffel said in the aftermath when people were calling her out for these ableist tweets. As my platform has gotten bigger, I have become more careful with what I say, and I've grown a lot as a person in these last several months. That said, aka fuck what I just said before, this isn't even what run a train means. I'm being called a rapist right now over a vulgar joke about consensual sex. Now, I didn't know this, but apparently run a train is a phrase that was created in AAVE. So Keffels, you don't get to say that that's not what it means. All you had to say was, I didn't realize that that's what it means. But no, Keffels can't say that she did something wrong. She can't. It will literally give her a rash. So instead, she has to blame the people around her. Oh, you guys are just talking crap. That's not even what it means. Well, that's clearly what it means in some communities, and they have a problem with this. Especially with the other tweets. I am now seeing people construing what is happening with these tweets as, oh, well, you guys don't think that autistic people can consent to sex. You guys are ableist. Did Simone Biles teach you how to do that mental gymnastics? Because damn, this is getting ridiculous. Nobody said that autistic people can't consent. If they did, they're wrong. Autistic people who are over consenting age can definitely consent and have a great time having sex. Have fun. The tweet implied that there was coercion involved, plus the language of run a train, which implies non-consent. That coupled with the way that she fetishizes autistic women, all of this just doesn't sit right with me, and it doesn't sit right with a lot of other autistic people. We're actually not going to talk about all of these tweets just because it's going to take too long to go into each one one by one, but we want to show you some of examples of what Keffel's vehement supporters are saying. Okay, so basically this tweet has a screenshot of a black trans woman criticizing Keffel's for her racist behavior. These Jai cultists are just doing the regular Nazi move of accusing others of what they are people doing. People like Jerrica are trying to pick up where Kiwi Farms left off and use false accusations of racism to tear apart the trans community. Can we talk about the fact that Jerrica was also doxxed on Kiwi Farms? You're really going to accuse her of picking up where Kiwi Farms left off when she is a victim of Kiwi Farms? Fuck you! Makes no goddamn sense! And then in response to that, Vouch says... Do you think this person has bound a special key to black trans women so she hasn't d doesn't have to type it out so much? Basically saying, why does she have to mention that she's black trans and a woman all the time? It's because she's proud of that fact. And people put her down for that fact as often as possible, which is what you're doing here. I have not spoken publicly about the stuff surrounding Kethel's, but what I will say is I was very, very connected and tuned into what was happening at Kiwi Farms, and I'm begging people to realize that there are very bad actors at play trying to stir up the community. This feels like it's implying that the people calling her out for racism are kind of connected with Kiwi Farms and are also just trying to stir up the community and fuck everyone over. Not like they're just trying to actually get the word out there that Kethel's is or has been racist and ableist. 
oh no, they're just trying to stir the pot. Keffels isn't even Jai's biggest harassment target. Most of her targets are other black indigenous people of color, especially trans women of color, especially Jews, including the promulgation of anti-Semitic conspiracy theories about Jews orchestrating the oppression of black people. No evidence. Where is the evidence? I do not see it. We looked for it. If you're going to say that someone is harassing other trans people and that this is a whole orchestrated campaign, you're going to need to have some evidence. This person said, Like, she correctly identified that it is, in fact, much easier to talk down to actual fascists than it is to talk down to the trans community when we've decided we don't like you. Isn't that kind of horrifying? Like, she's right. That's true. Doesn't that make you feel ashamed of us? That does make me feel ashamed that you feel more comfortable talking to fascists than black trans people calling you out on your racism. That does make me uncomfortable and ashamed. <laughs> this is about the noodles. What is with these demanding cultural apartheid? Is there some global homo conspiracy theory they subscribe to about losing one's racial purity if you allow others to learn the secrets of your people's food? Just don't culturally appropriate. Stop with these think pieces. No one asked you. I might buy the white lady's cookbook for dumplings and noodles out of spite for cultural segregationist clowns like this. Actually, I did see that some people got that cookbook to the number one on the charts just because they were upset about these kinds of tweets. They just bought it because they were pissed off? Yep. This person said, there's also the angle where trans people of color have wound up getting used by bad actors. It really fucking sucks. I've been watching it happen and yeah, big oof. So you're saying that they're not smart enough to realize that they're being used by people and not that they're just looking at what Caffles is saying and saying this is racist? Do not tell people, especially black people, that they're misunderstanding racism. Just don't. So this is something that Keffels retweeted. So the image, it's from a video game. Lord forgive me, I don't know which one. It is an image that says, I'm sorry, you're a hero and you have to leave. And the caption is like half of trans Twitter after Keffels defeated Kiwi Farms. So Keffels, you think you're a hero? I don't think any self-respecting activist would feel that way about themselves. Very weird. Trans community, stop constantly kneecapping all of your most effective advocates challenge 2022 with in brackets impossible. If our most effective activists are racists, I do not want them. Goodbye. Not gonna miss ya. Goodbye. If you genuinely don't understand how racism and transphobia are super interconnected, you need to do more research because they are. And by being racist, you're also being transphobic. We're not gonna excuse someone's racism because of her activism. I know we said that those were all the tweets that we were gonna read, but I kept finding more and more and more, and I can't not read these. So I'm not gonna explain what's wrong with all of these, because if not, we'd be here for three years. These are worth reading because it's worth seeing how Keffels has kind of fueled racism. Here are the videos that prove you shouldn't listen to everything black people say. It's that black people are doing this to get clout and make the lives of other people worse because they want to race bait to be relevant. And the photo is of a soldier boy scam. At least Kiwi Farms is honest about hating trans people. These assholes hide behind a veneer of anti-racism in quotes to justify harassing and pedojacking trans people. I'm sorry, but a lot of these people who make it their fucking life goal to take down Keffels are only doing it because she's a big trans creator with a platform. It's literally just a mix of jealousy and blatant transphobia. They're ideologically identical to Kiwi Farms. We should just start doxing these people. I don't know why we aren't. If I knew how, I'd be doing it. Keffels used her influence to take down one of the worst sites to ever exist, and the aftermath is left-leaning, in quotes, people on here scraping to find and make up reasons to get people to hate her. Almost like Keffel took something from them, maybe something cute kiwi related? I don't want to hear this bullshit dragging up every questionable thing Keffels has ever done. It's not 2014 anymore. You should have enough media sophistication to understand when women speak
speak out against internet harassment, the counterplay is to put the victim on trial. Blink has a post showing it's all made up by a bunch of black women, jealous that they can't be Keffels. So now they turned into literal Nazis and use race as a shield. Sometimes you see popular lefty trans women is a bigot threads on here and the receipts are so weak, but there's so much energy for it. I've done and said worse usually, but there's never half the push to trash me from within the left. With Hassan Abi responding, I hate the left. I trust a lot of people when they say they've experienced something. When they have a shady history of defending arsler shit, I tend to find it harder to listen to dipshits who can't even tie their own shoes. Not reading anymore as someone who has a hard time tying their shoes because of their disability? Fuck you. See you in hell, bitch. Let me get this straight. A cis man can make an entire comedy special being transphobic and be defended with it's just comedy. But Keffels can't say add the Italian colors to the flag that represents her because she's trans, adding that to the mountain of hypocrisy. It'd be a real shame because what Jai figured out a long time ago was that attaching her name to as many vectors of intersection as possible was an effective way of pushing reactionary ideas, and a shocking number of lefties fell for it. The perfect combo seems to be black trans women. Keffels did accomplish something no one thought was possible, but also she made some offensive jokes. I don't have the complete context for, so she's basically female Hitler. Oh, I might throw up reading this one. Jai is just a miserable, soul-sucking cunt of a human being should be strung up and beaten like a fucking pinata, the circus leader of it all. Okay, I'm done and moving on. Sure you are. Remember that the source of all the weird accusations against me come from people like this, who obviously need psychiatric help, but instead sublimate that distress into Twitter disputes. You guys need to stop doing mental gymnastics for your favorite racist. It's not getting you anywhere. And comparing black trans women to Nazis is some of the most historically, socially, it's disgusting. It's disgusting. So in conclusion, this whole Keffels thing has me fucked up and it has me angry. Just because it's a microaggression does not mean that it's any less harmful. Maybe don't go after black trans women, especially just straight up lie. As far as we're aware, lying about them, not a good look. If you have receipts, fucking post them. Yeah. What we're not going to do is allow you, a white lady, to say, well, I've never been racist. When we have all of this evidence and all of these other people agreeing that it is racist, that it is ableist, that it is interphobic. And not only people, we have black indigenous people of color saying that it is racist. Not just to a bunch of white people. It's not just us. It's people in those communities that were affected by what Keffel said that are saying that it's racist. We are not pulling this out of our ass, so do not say say that we are. Thank you. Thank you. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. We really, really appreciate it. Let us know what your thoughts are down below. Don't be racist. Don't be transphobic. Have a great day. Have a great day. Love to see you guys. Bye. Bye.